What is up, Tube? Saturday, let's get into this. Every day is a win. Since I was told that you don't want me. Baby, you're just cold and you know I try to hold on to when I saw you move. Good morning, Tube. What are you guys up to? Today I am running late. It's a Saturday. It's already, uh, ah, it's about 7.30 right now. I got no appointments this morning. I don't know why. Just nobody booked till, uh, my first appointment's not till 10 o'clock. So, but 7.30, I'm headed to the shop anyway. Uh, help out the boys, do some, uh, walk-ins, whatever needs to be done, guys. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Um, like I told you guys, this week is a holiday weekend, I think, because Saturday is 4th of July, so, you know, it's up and down. We don't know if it's going to be busy or not, so uh, uh, we're just going to go down there and grind through it, guys, as we do all the time. I hope you guys are rested up. I know it's Saturday morning, and I know a lot of you younger barbers go out and have fun and, you know, and drink and stay out all late and then go to clubs and, and go get bottle service and spend all your money that you made on Friday. I know how it is, guys. I know. I was young once. I was young once. I was in my 20s in my at one time and I used to do those, those things. But guys, you know what? The mentality today has to be different, guys. You have to be, uh, you guys have to uh, uh, restrain from doing stuff like that. You guys have to uh, motivate yourselves to get up early. Motivate yourselves to stay home on a Friday night and relax and rest and get ready for the next day. Because Saturday is such a big grind day that, you know... A lot of us neglect that and we'll go out and have a good time and, you know, hey, you guys, there's nothing wrong with that. doing that once in a while. But if you're doing it every single Friday, Saturday night, then you know what? It's going to be hard for you to get ahead. Remember this, well, guys, people that are doing great in their 30s. It's because they took biz, take good, they took care of business in their twenties. Okay, if you don't take care of business in your twenties, you're gonna be putting things back together, getting your life ready when you're in your thirties. You know, that's kind of what I did. You know, I took me into my thirties before I got my shit together because I messed around all through my twenties. So, you know, just some advice for you younger cats out there that that, that are in your twenties. Don't waste so much time. Don't waste so much time because you know what? Time flies and then before you know it, bam, you're going to wake up and you're going to be 30 and then 40 and then bam, 50. That's what I'm talking about. So, you know, keep that in mind, guys. Don't waste your time. Just party. Save some money. Buy properties. Do do smart, smart things with your money. Remember, vehicles and bottle service are not going to get you anywhere. They're not going to get you nothing. They're going to be gone. So remember that. All right, guys, I'm headed to the shop right now. Today is Saturday. Let's do this. probably it's almost noon here uh but we've been working guys it's been steady this morning steady steady that's that's a good thing um you know of course it's kind of a holiday weekend so we don't know if what how busy it's going to be because the holiday is in the middle of the week but uh it's either going to be busy this week or it's going to be extremely busy next weekend so either way it doesn't matter 
the heads are still coming through. Guys, for today's topic, today's topic, I was reading somebody on one of the barber sites was posting about about you know how how do you how do you continue when uh, I feel how do you continue how do you motivate yourself when uh, you feel like you're the worst barber in the world you know um, obviously this person is probably going through it and um, what I can say about that guys I can honestly say is that um, I believe that everybody goes through that everybody uh, I went through that for sure I went through that there was a time when I, I was a uh, uh, second guessing myself and uh, wondering if I made the right call wondering if I uh, uh, did the right thing by becoming a barber because uh, I just felt that uh, I wasn't making enough money uh, things were not adding up uh, um, my haircuts were horrible uh, I had nobody really you know me just I had no guidance you know and, and in a lot of ways that's why I created this channel is just to help other barbers out there that, that might be going through some of these things, you know, and because it does happen. Believe me, it happens. Let me see if I can adjust this a little bit. See if I got it. So it, it does happen, you know. Uh, 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 all I can say is that, uh, you know, I, I can guarantee you one thing is that a lot of barbers go through this. Uh, uh, there's always going to be spots where you're not going to be the happiest, and you you know, you're not going to be, uh, 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 it's like I said. It's not always roses and sunshine, guys. It's it's a uh, 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 sometimes this is a struggle. It's a it's a grind. It's a hard grind. You have to grind through it every single day. You got to work hard. If you don't work hard, you're not gonna make it. Um, as far as being uh, uh, motivated, and, and, and you know what, I, I can tell you guys this right now from experience. Uh, uh, the minute this whole business started changing for me was the minute that I changed my mindset and. Um, and I went all in, you know. At first, I was kind of like a lot of people. They, they, oh, I think I would love to cut hair. I don't know if I will. I'm, I, I maybe I should try it. And they don't come all in, you know. My best bet, my my best, my best advice is if you're gonna do this, jump all in. Learn as much as you can. Do as many reps as you can. Don't turn people away. Uh, show up every day. Be a good employee. Be a good worker. Be a good barber. Be a good listener. And, uh, and the people will gravitate to you. I guarantee you that. That's just the way this business is. They do do that indeed. Um, but, you know, to get motivated, uh, uh, um, you know, listen to videos. Listen to people that are positive. You know, I always, I, I try to be as positive as possible. Even when negative things are happening in my life. You know, you just try to be as positive as you can. Because, like I've always said, positive thoughts bring positive actions and bring positive results. You know? And, and uh, I live by that, and, and it's the same thing in, in, in this situation, you know. When things aren't going good, then, you know, what? turn to somebody who's doing good and listen to them and talk to them and ask them questions and, you know, ask, seek for guidance. Get yourself a mentor. Mentors are the best, guys, because they've already been through it. They've already seen, they've already been through what you're going, you're about to go through. And, um, you know, that, that's, what the, that's, what, that's what you guys want. That's what you guys need. But never give up ultimately never give up trust me guys i was right there on the verge of quitting this business and i uh, saying to myself like oh, i don't want to be a barber i don't think i can be a barber i don't think this might not be the business for me i had uh the man that taught me how to fade and everything he told me one day because i was struggling even after he explained it over and over and over and over and i still struggled a little bit and i remember him telling me specifically telling me like you know what maybe this is not the job for you Maybe uh, uh, maybe you need to do something else, and I talk, and I and I remember that got me so angry, so mad, you know, that he told me that that you know, and I don't know if it was a way of him lighting a fire under me or what, but you know, somebody telling me that I can't do something makes me want to do it more. So you know, that that's just my personality. That's just the way I am. So I said, I told him, I, and I remember specifically telling him that day, like, you're wrong, you're wrong. I will get this. I am going to get this. I am going to get this. I guarantee you I'm going to get this. And uh, he, he, he he didn't say nothing that day. He kind of just uh, uh, shrugged it off, like, you know. He, I think he was trying to light a fire under me, but at the same time pissed me off. And, and it worked because uh, uh, I remember that was, that was one of my turning points in my career right there. Him telling me that I couldn't do this. And me saying, like, hell no, hell no, nobody tells me I can't do this. 
And um, just, you know, after that, I focus, got the right mindset. And, and, and you know, and things will start turning for you guys. You guys got to hang in there. Trust me on that, all right? I'm going to head into this bank, and I'll be back. See you guys in a little bit.